Hi, this is Andy Doctor. The cooling system is super important for our car engine. And inside the cooling system, we have coolant. Now, let's say for whatever reason, your car loses coolant slowly. In fact, my car does. How would you identify the leak? Normally, when the car engine is running, the cooling system is under pressure. But if your car is parked and cooled down, it's not under pressure anymore. In many cases, leak only happens when it is under pressure. So in order to identify those leaks, you need to artificially increase the pressure of your engine, and then you may be able to see. To do that, you need a pressure testing kit. And I have one up here. No, you do not need to buy one yourself. You can borrow one from most auto parts store. Auto drone, advanced auto part, etc. The way it works is you pay them a price which is way higher than the retail price, something close to $300 from advanced auto part. But when you return them, they will give you every penny back. So it's not too bad. If you buy it, this is less than $100, I think. So I don't feel bad at all. So let's open it up and see what it has. Okay. So, it has a lot of adapter, you see that, has a menu, and has a air pump. Uh, those adapters are to use on different cars, and this kick should be good for pretty much any car. Uh, be very careful though, some of the adapters look so similar, but they may not all work on your car. For example, on this engine, which is a 2.4 liter, the number 5, which this is number 5, oh no, this is number 3, and the number 5 are quite similar. The threads are the same, but the seals are actually different. You need to use the number 5, not the number 3. So if you happen to have a Ecotap 2.4 liter, just use the number 5, I guess. But if, again, if you have other engine, then make sure you compare them and pick the right one. And you'll see the difference is the seals are different. This is longer and seal the system. This one doesn't seal, okay? This one doesn't work at all. Let me move the kit away, okay? Since I only need one adapter and get the air pump and start doing the pressure test. When you do that, make sure your car is cold because, again, the cooling system is under pressure, like a pressure cooker. It's dangerous if you open it up when it is hot, so never do that, please. Uh, other than that, this procedure is easy and safe. So let's open it up. My car is totally cold. And cook the cap somewhere. And I have my number five adapter put onto it. Okay, snuck, and then take the air pump with the pressure gauge from the kit, and we are going to slide onto it. It's a quick adapter actually, and we start pumping air. You want to pump until 15 psi, typically, or whatever is labeled on the cap. It is 15 psi for my car, so yeah, you see the pressure coming up, and let's go. Hey, I hear something. So I go to something like 13 and it starts leaking from here. You see that? I hope you can hear the noise. Uh, it's probably just because the hose was not connected well. So I guess I am going to take it out and reconnect the hose and do a retest. See if it works. Okay? Now the way to take it out is you can release the air pressure, just press on the it, the pressure will be gone, and then you just uh, slide this one up and take it out. Now, I think I'm going to connect the hose and see if it helps with anything. I guess the clang may not be a, the really good predictions, so I'm going to take it out and see. Okay. Now let's put the clean back and you see if that help with anything. 
At least I was happy that I identified with the leakage. Okay, hopefully that clean well. Now let's redo the test. Again, pressure to 15 psi. Now if the system work, no leak, uh, you should be able to go on to 15 psi and should stay at 15 psi for something like 15 minutes without losing any pressure. Now at least I don't hear any air leak anymore and it is slightly higher than 15. It's something like 15.8 maybe. So we're going to leave it that way and I am going to look at the time. So right now it's 3.05, so I will check that at 3.20 and look at the pressure. If you maintain that way, then I think I fixed the problem. Um, anyway, we will see later on. Okay, let's check. Now it's 3.23, so we're a few minutes over, which is better if the pressure maintained. And yes, it is a... 16. It doesn't leak anything. By the way, I decided to put one more hose clamp onto it during the waiting period. My idea here that is the car is 10 years old, the hose and the hose clamp may not work perfect, perfectly well, and when the car is running on the road, on rough road, you know, jumping up and down, it might leak a little bit from here. And that's why I lose coolant slowly. Like with an extra hose clamp, this should fix the problem. Uh, so, this is on my car. Mm, your car may be more difficult though, because some of the leak may be under the engines on the coolant hose. Some of them may be internal. Uh, so, a pressure test is just a good first step. Uh, you will find out if the car doesn't hold pressure, then there must be a leak somewhere that you have to find it. Um, how to find it, where to find it, how to fix it, will depend on many, many factors that we could not cover here. But anyhow, if your car loses coolant and you want to see whether it actually leak or not, do a pressure test. And this is how to do it. If you think this video is helpful for you, please make sure you like this video and if you could, even better, subscribe to my channel. I am working really hard to increase my subscription base, so your assistance is highly appreciated and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.